Hi, my name is Carly Gassaway, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to take the IO assessment. So first of all, you're going to want to pace yourself. So the reading test is 40 questions with 40 minutes, so you'll have about a minute per question. And the math is also like that, you'll have a minute per question as well. And the science is 48 questions in 40 minutes, and you'll have less than a minute per question. And remember to do the easiest problems first and then go back. Um, number one, don't spend too much time on any question. If you want to make sure you do the easiest ones first, and then if you have time at the end, go back and answer all those questions that you skipped to make sure you get the easiest ones because you'll get a better score. Number two, answer every question even if you're not sure of the answer. You'll have a better chance of getting it right if you answer it. If you don't answer, you'll have a 0% chance of getting it right. Number three, use all of your time. There are no points for finishing early. You don't have an advantage if you finish early. You want to make sure you spend all your time making sure all your answers are right. Save time at the end of te at the end to review your test and make sure you haven't left out any answers. If you've skipped a question, make sure you go back and fill in that bubble to make sure you got it right. Number five, answer the easiest questions first, but make sure to go back to the questions you skipped. Um, if you don't want to, make sure you leave a bubble if you do skip a question so your answers don't get off. Hi, my name is Oscar Gahalva, and I'm going to give you a few tips about Iowa assessment. Uh, so the first one is to pace yourself. Don't spend too much time on just one question. Uh, do your best and then move on. And then another tip with this, with the pacing yourself, is to answer the easiest questions first, uh, but to be sure to go back and to go back to the questions that you skipped. Mm -hmm. And then one of the next tips we'll be talking about is with the mul multiple choice questions. Uh, if you do not understand the directions, ask for help, and then read the question and all the answer choices before marking anything. And then make sure you're communicating with the text. Uh, make sure you understand what the question is asking also. And be sure that you are responding to the question that is being asked. And then a few more tips about multiple choice questions. Uh, do not change your answers unless you are very uncertain about your first answer choice. And try to answer every question and make the most intel intelligent guess that you can. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Caroline Oberg, here to give you some tips for standardized testing. Um, right now we're going to go over the process of elimination, so if you can't figure out which answer is correct, try to eliminate the answers that you know are wrong. Um, eliminate obviously wrong answer choices, eliminate choices that are partly correct, and eliminate items that are correct but don't answer the question. Educated guessing, which means using everything you know to attempt to answer the question. A uh, random guess gives you a 25% chance of getting the right answer. An educated guess gives you a chance of answering correctly up to 75%. Okay, so the next part of it is the absolute words. Um, answers with the following words are usually wrong or false. So these words are all, must, never, entirely, worst, always, none, every, best, only, and everyone. And the next part of it is general words, and answers with the following words are usually correct or true. So these words are some, sometimes, generally, usually, frequently, probably, most, few, many, often, or seldom. The next part is looking for clues. The context of a word includes all the words and sentences that surround it and the situation in which the word is used. When the answer is not clear, look for clues, context, tense, word type, grammar in the sentence, and answer choices. Hi, my name is Yorda, and I'm here to give you some tips on the Iowa assessments. Reading passages. If the test requires you to read passages and then answer questions, about what you read, read the questions first. By doing this, you will know what you are looking for as you read. This also helps you go faster on the test. When 
When there are several questions about reading a passage or chart, look for clues and other questions that will help you with those items about what you aren't sure of. A matter of time. If any time remains, spend it on those questions about which you know nothing about or almost nothing. As you go back through, do not change all the answers. Remember, your first guess is usually right. Don't miss bubble. If you reach a hard question and can't make your educated guess, an easier one is just around the corner. Write a light question mark next to the question you are skipping and move on to the next question. How do you prevent bubbling errors? At the end of the test, go back to the question with question marks next to it and see if you can try to answer it. Hi guys, I'm Gabby and today we're going to go over some tips when taking the IO assessment. So first, skip, return, and check. If you finish early, check to make sure you have answered all the questions and they are in the correct section of the answer sheet. Once you have finished, please remain quiet as others will still be taking the test. Have a book ready to read once you are finished taking the test. Thank you Mr. Know-It-All. Remember, it's okay not to know everything. Unlike class tests, these tests will have some questions designed to challenge the limits of your knowledge at your grade level, above your current grade. When you are done. Fill in bubbles fully, write neatly, and erase stray marks. If you finish early, check to make sure you have answered all the questions. Once you have finished, please remain quiet as others will still be working on the test. By using the test taking strategies you have learned today, and with practice, you can improve your test taking skills and test scores. You can do this. Do your best. Your teachers are cheering for you. Good luck, guys.